So you guys have asked for it. You guys have wanted a video of hand lettering and calligraphy, a tutorial, kind of beginner's tutorial on paper. If you don't know who I am, I'm Will Patterson. I'm a hand lettering artist and logo designer, and I make these videos online for you so you can learn everything there is to know about logo design and hand lettering. Over the past few years, I've been doing solely videos about the iPad Pro and lettering on that because that is my sort of thing of choice. I love the iPad Pro. You can do so much with it with the Apple Pencil tool using Procreate. But I know that there are plenty of you on here that don't have an iPad, so you want to learn just basic brush skills and calligraphy skills on paper. So today I'm going to be giving you a tutorial on hand lettering and calligraphy, explaining to you the differences between and how you can get started even with a pencil. So first things first, when it comes to hand lettering and calligraphy is to know about the rules of it. We need to know how it works and why it works. Well calligraphy looks hard and that's because it takes a lot of practice and muscle memory, but we're going to be doing modern calligraphy, so brush calligraphy. And for this to work, all you need are a few different kinds of pens and if you don't have them, you can easily go to the shop and buy them very very cheaply. You can either get a brush pen and it's sort of like this fabric pen with a squidgy bit at the end so it's a brush pen or you can get a Crayola or just a normal pencil. You'll be surprised at the results you get from just a pencil as well. So when it comes to brush lettering it's all about the thicks and thins. You can see a lot of people doing it on Instagram and they look amazing and they've had a lot of practice including myself. You spend hours and hours and hours. I've even written a book that was published about brush lettering and hand lettering and in that book I tell people that you can use a Crayola pen to create the thicks and thins. Any pen with a bit that is thin and a bit that's thicker, you can create this style. Now calligraphy and hand lettering are all about consistency, so consistent angles. And as you can see here, when I'm pulling down with my pen, the actual strokes are thicker. Now how do you actually use a Crayola pen or a brush pen to create this cool type? It's all about knowing when to be thick and when to be thin. And the general rule of thumb with the calligraphy is when the pen is coming towards you, the line should be thicker. And when the pen is going away from you, the line should be thinner. So when you're pulling towards yourself, you should be creating thick lines and then thin lines when you're going away from yourself. Now this can be a bit tricky to do in all in one motion. So what we're gonna do is do some drills. And all you have to do is keep the lines consistently angled and also consistently fat and thick on when you're pulling down. And when you push away and you go up the paper, we're gonna keep them consistently thin. You can try this with the pencil, you can try it with a Crayola, you can try it with a brush pen, and you can even try it on the iPad. If you're struggling with keeping the lines all centered and things, you can create some guides. I normally just draw a couple of lines and this just helps me keep my lettering consistent across the page. Now what we're going to do is we're gonna put the thick and thin part together and we're going to create what's known as a drill. And these drills are things you can practice to get the muscle memory inside your brain to work. So we're gonna go start off with the thin and then we're gonna go up thin and go down thick and we're gonna repeat this cycle without taking the pen off the paper. This is what the muscle memory is all about and this is the hardest part of calligraphy is keeping these lines consistently spaced, consistently thick and thin. It's all about consistency. You want each letter to look like it belongs in that certain area. And as you can see from what I've been lettering out, you can see how I'm going thick and thin. Sometimes it's easier to watch and copy so I would suggest from this video just copy what I'm doing and you can get a better understanding and your muscle memory will be made better now with different types of pens you get different styles and this is a really easy way of changing up your style of lettering or calligraphy with the Crayola pen because of the nib I can get these really fat looking like downward strokes and really thin upwards and really have that weight contrast. With other pens like the Koi Color Brush Pen, you can actually go thick down and thick up as well, but it's all about consistency. Now I love the Crayola Pen because of the thick and thin nature of it and it works super well. But if you wanna try this with another pen such as this one here called the Koi Coloring Brush Pen, and this is a water-based ink and this one's a bit harder to control and you'll notice that it'll, the pen will change over time when you use it. So sometimes you can't get the thins perfectly thin on the way up and I would say that doesn't really matter. Brush calligraphy doesn't have to be extremely thin and extremely thick so if you can't get 
the really thin parts all the time. Don't worry, it just takes practice or you can even change your style for it. I sometimes even like to letter out the Instagram logo just because it's one of my favorite logo types. And this helps me to still in my mind the muscle memory. So sometimes I need to warm up before I start going for it. Now you may be thinking, wow, you're doing this really quick, Will. The lettering that you're doing, you just know what you're doing. And of course I am, I'm doing it very quick and I'm only just seeing the video back now. But if you're first starting out and this is your first time doing it or you haven't done it in a while, slow down. Don't feel like you have to do it very, very quick. I would say to get the optimum speed is where your hand flows perfectly through the paper so you're not like jittering and you're not being too quick where it's inaccurate. You wanna make sure your hand's flowing through the paper. Another way of practicing brush calligraphy and hand lettering and getting really good at it is by just copying other people. So again, I would suggest to copy what I'm doing on here or check out Instagram. You can use any pen to do calligraphy. It doesn't have to be a brush pen. If you don't have one at your disposal, you can actually cheat the system a little bit. And this is very easy. I'm using a Posca marker to create the, what's known as the skeleton of the lettering. So I'm drawing this nice script word called cool. And when I've done the skeleton, I'm gonna go and create the thicks and thins. And I don't do this very well because I normally do it on my iPad where I have other tools to help me. But you can see here how I'm actually making it look like brush lettering by just drawing it. And you can do this with pencil, you can do it with pen, you can even do it with a brush pen if you like, even though there'll be no point. Now, what if you wanted to change your hand lettering style? Well, the easiest way of doing this is using different tools. Hand lettering calligraphy are technically different because hand lettering is all about the draftsmanship of letter forms. So you don't just use one brush to create the letter or the word. You're actually drafting it out with pencil at first. Now to change your styles is by using different tools. So you don't even have to use a brush pen. You could use a ruling pen, which is a really strange one to use. My friend Ian Barnard used to use like peppers and weird things like that. Experimenting with different tools definitely helps in an easy way of just changing your style. And if you're wondering where to buy these new tools from, I'll link some down down below the ones that I use when I'm doing it on paper. There's a lot of different types of tools. Well guys, thank you so much for watching this video. If you haven't enjoyed it, please make sure you press that red subscribe button so you see more hand lettering videos. I post three times a week and one of those is normally a hand lettering video on a Wednesday. So if you'd like to see more videos like this and if you've got any questions, I'll be sticking around after the video upload to answer them in the comments section below. Make sure you like, subscribe, press the notification bell so you never miss a video and I'll catch you guys in the next video. See you soon. Goodbye.